The objective of this presentation is to gain insights into the motion of guest molecules inside DDR. DDR is an all silica zeolite that has a cage window structure. This shows the structure of one unit cell that contains 12 cages. Each cage is uh, 278 cubic angstrom. The cage volume is significantly smaller than for phagocyte and ZIF-8. The cages are separated from one another by windows that are approximately four angstrom in diameter. This shows the uh, dimensions of the eight ring windows separating cages. The smallest distance is 3.65 angstrom and uh, the longest distance is about 4.4 angstrom. Further structural details of DDR zeolite are provided in this table. These are the unit cell dimensions ABC, pore volume, surface area, To gain insights into molecular motions in DDR zeolite, we conducted molecular dynamic simulations at 300 degree Kelvin. Details of the uh, simulation methodology and data on diffusivities are provided in the uh, published literature. Let's have a look at CO2 diffusion. CO2 is a pencil-like molecule with a much smaller cross-sectional um, size, 3.1 angstrom, and a much longer length, 5.4 angstrom. The CO2 molecule can only diffuse lengthwise from one cage to the adjacent cage. The, in this uh, slide, in this uh, animation, the trajectory followed by a single CO2 molecule is, float, uh, is followed as a function of time. You will note from these animations that uh, CO2 spends a disproportionately large amount of time near the window and is preferentially perched at the window site. This has important consequences for uh, separations, as we shall discuss in uh, subsequent slides. Methane is much more strongly constrained at the window. It uh, is able to cross the window because the windows are not completely rigid and have some degree of flexibility. Predominantly, the hopping of methane molecules in DDR is occurring within the cages. As you can see from the trajectory of a single methane molecule, um, it is located within the cages. Only 
very infrequently, once in a blue moon, is a methane molecule able to undergo a cage to cage hop. And the diffusivity of uh, methane is significantly lower by about two orders of magnitude than the diffusivity of CO2. So let's look at uh, CO2 CH4 mixture diffusion. You can see the CO2 perched at the window and uh, is able to cross the window in a lengthwise manner. Whereas in this, uh, dura for the dura duration of this uh, animation, no methane molecule has uh, crossed the window. Due to the uh, strong absorption of CO2 and preferential uh, location of the window sites, the CH4 diffusion is hindered by CO2. And the CO2 diffusivity is about uh, two orders of magnitude higher than that of CH4. And therefore, the CO2 uh, methane selectivity in a membrane construct is significantly enhanced by diffusion because both adsorption and diffusion favor CO2. The company called NGK insulators in Japan offer membrane modules which, are mon which have a monolithic structure and the uh, the inner walls of the tubes are coated with a thin layer typically about 20 micrometers in size, this layer, and this layer consists of DDR zeolite that allows selective CO2 permeation from a CO2 methane mixture. Hydrogen CO2 Mixture diffusion has a somewhat different character because uh, hydrogen is a much smaller molecule and can hop uh, easily between, uh, between cages. So the diffusion selectivity is in favor of hydrogen, but the absorption selectivity is significantly uh, in favor of uh, CO2. For a, member, for a DDR membrane, the uh, adsorption selectivity in favor of CO2 overrides the diffusion selectivity that favors hydrogen. Because of one important reason is that the hydrogen transfer between um, uh, cages is hindered due to the uh, preferential perching of CO2 at the window regions. In other words, even though hydrogen has a very high mobility and can uh, hop frequently between cages on its own, the hopping, intercage hopping, is uh, somewhat uh, hindered by uh, 
the preferential location of CO2 at the uh, at the window sites. A DDI membrane is uh, selective to CO2. Since the DDR membranes can also be used to separate water alcohol mixtures. To get an understanding of this, let's look at how water molecules diffuse. One important uh, characteristic of water diffusion is the forming of formation of molecular clusters. The molecular clusters also occur for methanol and ethanol. Due to clustering, a cluster of molecule has a lower mobility than either of the individual molecules that are unclustered. And uh, this results in a mutual slowing down effect. And the understanding of slowing down effects caused by molecular clustering is essential to the uh, development of DDR membranes for water alcohol separations.